Hi everyone, this is Kanika and in this video we will be discussing about sniffing today. If you remember in our video of threat, we have discussed these examples in brief and in our last video we have also discussed spoofing in detail. So in this video we will be covering another type of unauthorized access which is sniffing in detail today. Right? So let's move on to sniffing. So what is sniffing? Sniffing is an act of monitoring traffic on a network. So there is a sender and there is a receiver and we know that data is transferred from sender to receiver right and data is transferred in the form of data packets so what is sniffing whenever our data packets are being monitored so whenever data is being transferred from sender to receiver and these data packets these data packets are being monitored by someone this act of monitoring data packets is known as sniffing so this monitoring of traffic can be done by software which can capture data packets passing through networks. So till now we have understood that sniffing is an act of monitoring traffic on a network. Monitoring traffic means capturing data packets which are passing through a network. right? So what happens in sniffing is attacker uses packet sniffer. This packet sniffer is used to monitor our data packets. So attacker uses packet sniffer to read our sensitive information passing through network. So this is known as IP sniffing or we can say it as packet sniffing. So what happens in IP sniffing or packet sniffing is attacker uses a packet sniffer to read our sensitive information which is being passed through a network. Alright, so let's move on to the common targets. So what are the common targets for sniffing? Unencrypted data, for example unencrypted email messages, unencrypted login credentials like username password or financial information or any other unencrypted sensitive information which is being passed, which is being passed over a network unencrypted sensitive information so these can be the common targets because these are not encrypted so attacker can easily break through and get our sensitive information captured so what are the consequences what can be the effects of sniffing so loss of sensitive information because attacker can capture our sensitive information without a permission next is injection of malicious codes what happens is whenever data is being passed from sender to receiver for example data packets are being passed from sender to receiver then this attacker can use packet sniffer to capture our sensitive information along with that it can also inject it can also inject malicious codes in our data packets this is to hijack our computer hijack our system and to get control over devices right so this can be the consequence of sniffing that attacker may inject malicious codes right for system hijack or to get control over system right so these are some of the consequences of sniffing now how can we prevent sniffing so uh, we can prevent sniffing by using encryption right because unencrypted messages are not safe so we can use encryption so we should not send any sensitive information like our login credentials or any sensitive data over unencrypted connection. Next is use of secured websites. Whenever we see a website which is HTTPS, it is a secured website. So we should use secured websites like HTTPS over HTTP, right? Next is using VPN. Whenever we are connected to public Wi-Fi, we should use VPN. So what happens by using VPN is attacker will need to break through a layer of encryption to get control over devices or to read our data packets, right? So whenever attacker will try to read web traffic, right? He will need to break a layer of encryption by using a VPN. So whenever we are connected to public Wi-Fi, we should use VPN because whenever attacker is trying to get access over our data packets he need to break this extra layer in order to access the web traffic so this was all about sniffing let's quickly revise it what is sniffing sniffing is an act of monitoring traffic on a network 
So whenever data is sent from sender to receiver on a network, we know that it is sent in the form of data packets. So attacker can capture these data packets and this act of monitoring traffic, this act of capturing data packets is known as sniffing, right? Next is, we saw what is IP sniffing and packet sniffing. What is IP sniffing? Whenever the attacker is using packet sniffer to read our sensitive information, we are referring to it as IP sniffing or packet sniffing. If you need more detailed video on IP sniffing, please let me know, I'll make one. Next, we saw what can be the common targets, all the unencrypted data. For example, email messages, login credentials, information, sensitive information, any kind of unencrypted data can be the common target of sniffing. So what can be the consequences? What can be the effects of sniffing? So we can lose sensitive information, injection of malicious codes by attacker, and our system can get hijacked or attacker can control our device. Next is ways to prevent sniffing. So what can be done to prevent sniffing? We can use encryption. We can ensure that we are not sending sensitive information over unencrypted connection and we should try using secure websites. We should avoid using HTTP and we can use HTTPS. And whenever we are connected to a public Wi-Fi, we can use VPN to ensure an extra encryption layer. Right? So I hope you have understood sniffing. In the next video, we'll be discussing DOS and DDoS attacks. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.